So, hello Believers, I am Stuart Robson, and in this video, Mr. Believer is going to tell you all the leaks about rank up or training transfer, a new FC Mobile update. Moreover, he is going through all these topics. One, while well, all confirmed leaks about the rank up or training transfer and new FC Mobile updates. Two, everything you need to do before the U-Tarts. Three, upcoming best investment opportunities to earn one to 300 million coins. So, this video is going to be very informative. And come on guys, make sure to hit Thank that you. subscribe button, as once we reach the 150,000 subscribers milestone, Mr. Believer is going to announce the winner for this huge giveaway. Anyway, Believers, I am not yapping much more and let Mr. Believer go through all those points. First, let's discuss point number one. All confirmed leaks about the rank up or training transfer and new FC mobile updates. So, a lot of people were saying that this post is trying to show the rank up transfer is coming in FC Mobile, but it's not going to happen. As I already explained a lot in the last other videos, it's not rank transfer. EA Jason also said that we are looking into training transfer, not rank transfer. He also said that I think that's why folks are requesting training transfer, to keep the ranked coin value and not losing all of the XP as it's hard to train a player from scratch again. Ha ha ha, this looks funny. One guy asked him, Jason, can you tell me when we are expecting rank transfer? He replied, don't you mean training transfer? So, just be clear that training transfer is coming for sure, 100% not the rank up transfer. I think we can't expect rank up transfer because that's going to totally affect the market and it will create a lot of supply in the market. Also, a lot of you have doubts on how the training transfer is going to work, right? So, training transfer is going to work for the same rank up version. In this video, I have explained everything in the prediction point of view, and I was right though the video is long, so let me explain you things in short. So, suppose you have the 100 rating Orange Rank Up Holland with 30 training levels, right? So you also need an Orange Rank Up card to transfer training of the previous Orange Rank Up Hayland. You can't transfer it in the green version cards whose Rank Up level is just one. Now you might ask me when it's coming. It's really not confirmed when the training transfer is coming, but also EA specially do the posts once they complete works. So, soon it will be available in the game, and we are also going to get FC Mobile up updates during training transfer update. I think Antoine and Talk is going to do live stream for sure. When they will do live stream it's not confirmed but in the live stream they will reveal every change that we will get in the training transfer updates. Maybe as per my prediction the live stream will be before Utah's players launches or when the new long event is going to arrive. So I hope everything is clear. Now let's move to point number two, everything you need to do before the UTOTs. I'm not going to go very thoroughly, but here are all the necessary things that you need to do before UTOTs. Tips 1. Collection of the Mascarano. Since training transfer is also near the Mascarano is going to be very demanding as a lot of us have players trained to level 15 to 30, right? So. In the Utahs, surely we are going to upgrade team, and during that time, we must need the Mascarano in order to upgrade the player's rank up and transfer training on them. Since we must need to upgrade the players to the same rank up level if we want to transfer training, so make sure to collect as much Mascarao as you can. Here, I have made all the possible tips from where you can collect 10 to 15 Mascarano within next 15 to 30 days. Tips 2. Claim the UTOT's points. Make sure to complete this UTOTS quest right now, because tomorrow Thursday it's going to refresh, and you will lose 90 TOTS points as it's really essential if you want to claim this 94 to 99 or 98 to 99 rating packs. Also watch daily ads and claim free 5 UTOTS points. After that, collect save some amount of the TOTS points A, B, C, D, and E, as they might be exchangeable to the UTOTS points as you might be able to claim both of these rewards in case the exchange for the Utah's points will come in the store section. Tips 3. Sell the tradable players. Since people are going to get a lot of Utah's player through different store packs and event missions, they will surely sell their existing players from the events like Tots, Winter Wildcards, Toady, and so on. So it's fine if you sell your players at the moment as you can surely buy them later on when they fall in price. Tips 4. Save your fodders. Since there might be the new exchange packs in the Utahs, I am not sure, but it might be the 94 to 99 or 95 to 99 Utahs or Tots exchange pack. So for that, you might need a lot of fodders to do that exchange pack. That's the reason I don't suggest you to waste your fodders, especially the Tots 94, 95, 96, and 97 rang untradeable fodders. 
They might be useful in the Utahs. Also remember that the 94 to 98 and 94 to 99 rating exchange pack are scammy these days. I have tried it a lot and EA is literally giving me 94 over and over again. So, I would suggest you to avoid it. If you want to collect the untradeable fodders for the Utahs exchanges then, make sure to open the 3K Gems pack. Tips 5. Collect resources like gems and coins. Gems is really going to play a very essential role because you will surely get some store offers which is going to give you Utahs players. And in the Utahs chapter also you can see here the store pack for the both. Utahs team A and B, so gems are really essential and make sure to collect the gems as much as you can. I don't have sufficient gems because I can't play missions of the complete offers well due to my extremely busy schedule. But if you have time then you can surely try it. Also, the coins are very essential for the Utahs because you can invest in the Utahs players during the launch of the Utahs players. The more you have coins, the more advantage you will get. Anyway, I won't suggest you build the team on the first day, but what I mean is just buy them for profit and when you get profit, sell them. If you have little amount of coins, then here are the tips from where you can earn more coins and profit through the upcoming investments. For that, let's go to point number three. Upcoming best investment opportunities to earn 1 to 300 million coins. There are a lot of investment opportunities coming out in upcoming days. Let's discuss one by one. Most of you were asking me like, you can't snipe players well, so if you can't snipe well, then I have prepared a list of the Lalaga Tots players which crashed badly, and they are actually good players. They have a good chance to rise in the future, so you can invest in them if you don't want to snipe players. Anyway, if you love sniping them tomorrow, you have a great opportunity to earn million profits. Here are some tips you need to follow to earn a million profit tomorrow. You can invest in these Lalaga Tots crashed players now if you want. After some period of time, they will rise more. For example, the players like Kroof, Vinicius Jr. Bellingham are already increased in price around 5 to 10 million, so they will give you less profit or even loss. So, invest on the players which are in the rising phase. Now, if you are interested in sniping, then tomorrow the Serie A players are coming. Here you can see some confirmed Serie A players coming tomorrow in the reset time. Tomorrow the 90 tots and 94 tots will be average for the sniping. You will not get very high profit from the 90 and 94 tots as the event is getting old. And people know how the market is going to react. And even the 90 rating and 94 rating tots players amount are high in the market. In case if the TOTS 90 launches price below 3 million, then it's going to be good for sniping, and it can give you profit around 300 to 700k, as it can reach 4.4 to 4.9 million price, where 94 TOTS can reach 22 to 23.5 million price. There will be some 95 to 99 rating players who will be very good for sniping, and I'm going to announce everything instantly on the Discord server. So, if you love sniping then, make sure to join Discord for the instant updates on which player is going to be good for best profit. Now, by looking at the players, I think Rafael Leo looks good for sniping. Also, Di Marico, Kvaratskelia, Bastoni, Summer, and Polisic. Anyway, it depends on the market situation. Also, there will be a lot more investment opportunities in upcoming days, like there is weekend crash investment and UCL investment. So, if you are sniping players tomorrow then, you will not miss the weekend crash investment. But if you have invested in the crashed La Liga Tots players, then you will miss the weekend crash or UCL investment, since the crashed players may take little bit more time to give profit. In case if you have invested in the 90 and 94 Tots then, they will also take around 1 to 4 days to make profit, but 95 to 99 Tots doesn't need much more time to rise in price. You can sell them in under 24 hours. For some players, it may take 48 hours. Anyway, you might be good to go for crash investment in case you can snipe 95 to 99 rating players. For the UCL investment, you will be late whichever investment you will do. Anyway, I think you should move according to your situation. So, that's it for now and make sure you hit that subscribe and like button before leaving. I will meet you with the next one. Till then, your lovely host, Mr. Believer, signing out.